Howdy, howdy, Chris here, and welcome back to Garage Noise. In this episode, we're going to be checking out a new paint gun called the Porifus PRD 715. We're going to break it down, take a good look at it, and see how well it performs. This is the Porifus PRD 715. First impression of this gun is I really do like the way it looks. I love the blue with the black and the gold. It's a good looking gun. It feels good in my hand. It does have a side fan control with the fluid volume here and the air pressure here. And what's interesting about this fluid volume is it has steps on it. So if you turn it once, it locks in. You can feel the different steps so you can adjust it easily. So you can hear it there. All of these knobs feel like they're machined really well and it seems to be a well-built gun. Let's just pop the cap off here. This is a 1.3 tip. Now they do have some interesting things on their website. They have different caps that you can purchase for this gun and different tips, okay? They do have a split tip and I think you can get it for this gun. So they have a bunch of different variations you can try with this gun. These guns are made in China. As far as I know, they're manufactured in-house. So this is not a replica of a SADA or any other gun. It does kind of look like a SADA, but it's not a replica. They're all manufactured in-house. They did put my name right here. Pretty interesting. That's nice. It does consume 10.5 CFM. So it's not an air hog, but it does consume more air than a low volume, low pressure paint gun. But we'll talk about the air consumption and the overspray and how much material it uses when we get out in the garage and we start spraying with it. The manual, 600 mill milliliter hard cup. You also get this service kit with it. So you get a spanner wrench, some cleaning brushes, air fitting. This is the MP cap, that's a medium pressure cap. I think they have some different cap designs that you can use. They have a HVLP one. You can check this gun out and all the guns they have on their website. And I'm gonna leave that link in the description in case you wanna check it out and see what kind of guns they sell. So let's take this out in the garage. We'll spray with it. And we'll talk about how it performs. So I've got this, I've got it set at 18 PSI. We'll get a good coat of sealer on here and then we'll move on to base. Spraying really nice so far, nice and smooth. This is the absolute first time I sprayed with this particular gun and I gotta say I was very impressed with how well it laid down the sealer. Nice and smooth. I just adjusted it to 18 PSI on the air pressure and then the fluid volume I had it two and a half turns out from closed. As far as the amount of overspray it produced at these gun settings when applying sealer, it wasn't bad at all, about what I expected. I didn't notice that it consumed a ton of materials, so I think I mixed up about six ounces of sealer, and I pretty much got this whole bumper covered. I did run out right at the end, but we got basically a, a light coat of sealer over this entire bumper cover. Got the base coat now we just got one thin coat of sealer on it but i turned the uh, fluid volume to two turns out from closed and we'll see how that does i'm going to leave the air pressure the same i'm going to bump it up one more two and a half yeah that's good Got a nice fan pattern. Do three turns out. I think spray's nice. I'm gonna bump up the air pressure just a little bit. Yeah. 
Since this was my first time using this gun, I was playing around with the gun settings, the air pressure, and the fluid volume just to see where I liked it. And I ended up with three turns out from closed on the fluid volume and about 22 PSI on the air pressure. And that worked out pretty well. I'll continue to play around with this as I use it more and I'll keep you guys updated. After we let that first coat sit for about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and put our second coat on. I'll start by going around these edges and making sure I've got everything covered well. And then we'll put one more coat over the whole bumper and then we'll start on the clear coat. I really wish I would have done a spray out so I could show you the size of the fan pattern. It's a larger than average fan pattern, a lot like the new Black Widow. So plenty of fan to get the job done. Next time I spray with this gun, I'll definitely do a spray out so I can show you the size and shape of the fan of this gun. Like I mentioned before, we're doing the sealer, the base, and the clear coat all with the 1.3 tip. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Are you guys using a 1.3 tip or do you use a 1.4? And let me know what type of gun you're spraying with right now. Now I have to say at this point, I'm pretty impressed with how it's laid down the sealer and the base coat. It was a nice uniform finish on my uh, base and the sealer was silky smooth. So I have no complaints so far. We'll see how it lays down the clear coat and then I'll give you my final thoughts on this gun. Okay, we got the clear in here. I'm gonna set the air pressure at 25 PSI. Three turns out on the fluid volume. We'll see where we're at. That seems like a lot of air pressure. pretty good. All right, that's it for the first coat. We'll let it flash off and we'll hit it with the second coat. I gotta say, I really liked how this gun laid down the clear coat. And this is my honest review. I have no affiliation with this company. They just sent me this gun to review, that's it. Um, but I really like how it laid down the clear coat. And I think I could use a little bit less air pressure if I needed to. So I'm going to play around with this. It seemed like at 25 PSI, that was a lot of air pressure. I think I could get the same finish with less air press pressure and use less materials and produce less overspray. So I'm going to continue to work with this gun and try and tweak it just a little bit. See if we can dial that in a little bit better so it produces less overspray while still laying down slick clear. That's it. 
Okay, so it's a couple days later. I want to kind of give you an idea of how this gun performed. And if you look at this finish, it laid down a nice flat finish. This is off the gun. We didn't do any wet sanding or buffing. We did put this uh, bumper together. It is a little bit dusty right now just from sitting. But man, that's a nice looking finish. I really like how this gun sprayed. I have no complaints with how this gun sprayed. It was really easy to use. This is the Porifus PRD 715. If you're interested in this gun, you can check it out. I'll leave a link down in the description. Not a real expensive gun either. I think it was about $220. It's along the lines of a budget paint gun, but I think it would be a good gun for a beginner. It was easy to use. It seemed like it was really well built. So just another option for you guys. I just want to give you my honest opinion of the gun and you guys can make your own decisions on what gun to purchase. If you want to help support the channel, all you got to do is like this video and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this video and this paint gun. If you have a paint gun you want me to review, leave them down in the comments below. Listen, I appreciate each and every one of you watching. We'll see you next time on Garage Noise.